Hello there, hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to Shawnee's World. Today was a beautiful sunny day in England and uh, to take advantage of that I had an impulse and I decided I would like to go and visit the village of Bibbury in the Cotswolds in Gloucestershire. This village was called by William Morris. He talked about it as the prettiest village in all of England. Um, it has been mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086, so it's a very old historic village. Um, one of the most popular places and the most photographed places in Bibbury is a row of cottages called the Arlington Row. Arlington Row of Cottages uh, historically was uh, first a wool store and then afterwards it became um, a place where people would, uh, the weavers would live there so it was weavers cottages and in the front of it they would put up racks and dry the dyed wool so that part of the village was called the Rack Isles. Um, I'm not going to speak anymore. Let's just go and see Bibbury. <music> We've come to Bibbury. How are you, Tanya? Let's I'm face wonderful. the sun. Oh, facing the sun highlights my spots. But <laughs> I'm wonderful. How are you? What is the date today? 23rd of April. 23rd of April, 2021. Yes, and we are just soaking up the sun. We're soaking up the sun. But it's extremely Bibbury. cold. And this is Arlington Row of yeah. Cottages. When was this village? Like 1066. 1096, I think. It's historically recorded. Yeah. And um, I'm having a massive wake home right now. <laughs> I never get a spot. It's very popular. And this is the oldest row of cottages, the prettiest in England. This yeah. cottages, which I'm going to show you now. Can you see it? Oh my god, I'm going to have to flip the camera. I'm gonna post some pictures. So I'm just across from the cottages oh, yeah. as a yeah. the street. What do you think, Tanya? Really nice. Are you surprised? You had no idea where I was bringing you. Am I surprised? No. I mean, Are you impressed? not? Yeah. I was expecting to bring me somewhere like this. Were you? Village. Ah, how the drive to this place was so pleasant. Tanya? Yeah, no, I agree. How long did it take us to come it from us, it was London to 1. here? It was 1.5 hours, but Mum's a bit of a slow driver, so it took around two hours. No, we didn't take two hours. Okay, it took like 1 hour 40. We left at about 2 o'clock and we were here by 3.30. But we stopped for before. So, added on to next time. Would you recommend? that people come to Bibbury. people I recommend this to is um, maybe a little bit of an older age group or I would recommend it to a younger age group and rent a cottage. Rent a cottage. Tunes. And look at this pretty river, River Colne I think it is. Yeah, I know you just want to jump in. And it runs along this side. And there's also a trout farm here. Um, there are unlikely. Tell me about the trout farm. So the trout farm is this amazing, wonderful farm where they grow all trout fishes. It's a farm. I mean, yeah, they, <laughs> they nurture trout fishes. I, I don't like this. I think we should go. I, I think, you let's, think we should go? Yeah, we're going to go to the trout farm now. It's going to smell like fish. <laughs> It's going to be enough. Let's walk Wait, along. Yeah, we're going to go there. 